We have a big show for you tonight. Power. Titans Power! Alright guys, welcome to Titans and Co-op TMNT series. Wow, that, that's not so loud, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I felt that was kind of loud. I'm going to uh, bring it down just a little okay. bit, just in case. It seems a little louder than normal back there. Oh crap. Yeah, we're doing uh, Ninja Turtles Arcade 1, Turtles in Time Arcade, and then Hyperstone Heist. I think they're all pretty different games, and uh, kind of showcases the series really because they have a lot of cool elements and uh, really what I'm trying to find out is is the game good because it's got a turtle skin on it or is it just a good game that happens to have a turtle skin on it or is it both is it is it a combination of the franchise and the game being made together and it just turned out to you know be a really tasty cake you know well I think anything with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, you know tag on it's gonna be successful i mean all these games were early nine or what, early 90s so yeah. i mean height of turtle power height of the movies height of uh you know peak of uh popularity so i i for one can't necessarily remember one against the other i mean I, i'm pretty sure i played them all um there's no discerning characteristic like i couldn't look at one and immediately go, oh that's hyper stone heights or but that's oh, just me. I mean, so. I can. I can because I've... So, obviously, you guys probably, you know, for all the Titans fans out there, you guys know that we have a world record in this arcade game. So, uh, we've also done a podcast episode on this arcade and this franchise. So, I, I can discern the differences immediately, but I've played them pretty extensively. So, I know this one pretty well. Um, and then Turtles in Time has a totally different combat system. It has a lot more depth to it. Um, you know, not to spoil anything, but... Hyperstone Heist has a very specific feel, and it has different levels than the other games. So, I can just tell by that. Can we get a hashtag, I like turtles? <laughs> oh, that's, uh, you really want that? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be funny, though. <laughs> what's up, Jamie? What's up, David? Yeah, what's Roger, up? Roger, what's going on? Brian, welcome Jesus, back, Jesus, what's brother. up? Kali, what's up? David Masterson, what's up, man? Brian, thanks for the shout-out there, buddy, about the super chats and the subscriptions. So, I right, guys, listen. Here, here's the deal. One coin only is growing. Lots of followers all over the world. 
The, the way we get there is by likes and shares, okay? If you like our videos on YouTube or on Facebook, we're dual streaming right now. You can find anything that we're doing two to three times per day. So, D Wayne, Ricky, and us, we stream all the time, every day. We stream on Sundays, but we're, we want to do more. Likes and shares are how we got that big. Also, you have the super chat. Super chat is the way you can donate cash to us. We take that cash, we pump it right back into the channel. No one's going to Wendy's with that cash. It's all for equipment and buying games and <laughs> graphics and improving the channel, website costs, whatever that is. All right? You can also do subscription. Subscription is probably the best way to uh, support us because it's only five dollars per month, and you get all the content and you get exclusive stuff. Ricky's got a really, really, really cool thing coming up for his 2,000 subscribers. He's going to be doing a beat 'em up challenge. It's going to be awesome. You guys definitely stay tuned for that. It's going to be great. We're going to be advertising it after the stream. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. That's a milestone, uh, and and we don't yeah. take that lightly. No. Um, thank you guys for helping us get to 2,000 subscribers. It's your guys' uh, you know, tuning in and 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 just growing with us. Um, that really made this happen. So thank you guys. <laughs> no, Ricky, super chat is not for tacos. <laughs> I mean. If it if it's for flying Ricky here to buy him tacos, yeah, I mean we might use super chat for that. <laughs> oh, Jamie, of course, yeah, we're gonna, of course, we're gonna have fun. This is fun every Sunday. Oh yeah, what we do here. Um, um maybe not the shumps, but every other show was fun. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we we, oh. we learned some stuff with our shump <laughs> show. So, thanks everybody who tuned in last week. Yeah, and and, and watch us uh, go through the shump genre. Um. We got to kind of discover a couple new cool games that we didn't know about. That's true. Um, but we had a blast. And, and, you know, the biggest part of this for us is being able to talk with you guys, we, uh, you know, every Sunday. This, this is what we look forward to. Um, so thanks for being here. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. So really can't go wrong with the Turtle series. We're going to play it right now. And like I said, if you don't know, um, one other cool place you can check out Titan stuff or two places you can check out Titan stuff. You can check us out on our own Facebook page. Um, on that page, you're going to see food challenges, um, you know, memes, or whatever whatever we're into during the week that's not Titans of Co-op Sunday show related. Uh, you're going to see that there. Our poll every Monday that's going to help you determine what games we play. So please check us out on Facebook. Um, I am going to... I'm going to tag a post right now. you guys have it I should be doing this every week but I digress oh we get so excited we just kind of get into it and oh yeah. man that iconic music bro I could just I could listen to the, th the theme song just yeah it just no it brings back so many memories I hope it's the same for everybody watching I think it is hey hey uh I don't know how to stand by guys sorry really should do this before the stream but that's the first time I've ever tagged this so I'll put this in a text document so I have it for tag for later you can watch this on YouTube here party dude and pizza connoisseur party dude and pizza connoisseur what do we got here boom okay so you can check us out here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Why can't I tag this? What oh, the hell? Wow. Why can't I pin? There we go. Pin comment. All right, guys. I got a pin comment there. That'll give you our Facebook page link, and it'll also give you the one corner on the YouTube, so you can watch over there for those of you on Facebook. Rock on. Oh my God. Go down here. Um, taco grilled cheese. That sounds really weird, Justin. Um, yeah, Tuesday, off days are always good, Brian. Hey, what's up, Chris Fields? No, we have not done Manhattan Project yet. Um, the game is pretty difficult to do co-op. Uh, it is something that we want to do, or at least I want to do. I haven't really introduced Sync to it yet, but we've got a lot of co-op stuff coming, guys. You guys remember... 
for those on YouTube and Facebook that haven't seen us before, we have a new thing called World Record Wednesdays. Every single Wednesday, we're going to release a world record video, whether that be a solo record from Aphid Steve, a solo record from my man Sink, or a co-op record. Last week, we released our Trog NES co-op world record, and we're going to keep doing that for as long as we can. And trust me, we can do it for a really long time. So tune in on Wednesdays on Titans of Co-op for World Record Wednesdays. But um, Manhattan Project is something I've always loved as a kid and I want to get into. But I digress. Moving on. Uh, in, Yugo, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Hakusho, Team NT was my favorite. Me too. Me too. Alright, let's kick shell. Let's kick shell! Probably need about 90. <laughs> There we go. All right, so I'm gonna start as Mikey, but I'm not gonna be Mikey for too long. I think it lets you change after you die. We'll I hope. See. I hope. Here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, drop in. Get that start. It's not working. There we go. They have the different color foot clan on the cartoon. No, like the different no, color. No, they were all purple. They were all purple. They were all purple, right? Yeah, as far as I yeah. I've never played with I haven't played with Mikey before, so there we go. Okay. Still learning some stuff. I'm used to playing with Donnie. It's more of an up close and personal because his nunchuck doesn't have a lot of range. Yeah, please share the video, like the video, support the brand so we can grow. We can get more streamers on the brand, we can get new shows for you guys. So, Sync and Steve can stream every day for you. <laughs> I would love Dude, to do that. Dude, that would be awesome. Man. I would love it if I could do that. But hey, you know, guys, we have house payments and car payments and all that jazz. Darn responsibilities. I got this guy. Thanks, Joshua. I'm just going to chill back here with... Okay, maybe not. I got him. Please try to get him in a... I was trying to get him in the loop. Four on two players. Four on what? If you hit him three times and then do a super attack. You get him in the loop? Yeah, you can get him in the loop. Okay. I sucked at it though. It's been a really long time. We recorded our turtles record, gosh, probably a year ago. Okay. So let's turn this up a little bit. Per request. There we go. Oh man. Be able to uh, yeah. okay, so that's that's uh, the lights out. Uh, the lights out. Yeah, 50 in the back. Uh, it's not a real TV, it's like completely square. <laughs> <laughs> What's the aspect ratio on that? 5 to 5? <laughs> Hey, Steve Leach, sweep the leg. Exactly. Exactly, buddy. Thanks for the share, Joshua Summers. Don't slice the teaser. You guys are something else. Ooh, I died it. Yeah, well, we had this at my arcade. Uh, two, it was, uh, it was a four player deck. Pretty cool. Yeah, we both, I mean, I think most kids did. We both have a really 
know, a really good love for this game and a really good history with this game. I, I'm pretty sure every kid in the world was into Turtles, or at least most of them in America, and this arcade was just the epitome of the cartoon. It had all the characters anthropomorphized as cartoons, all the characters were in it, the, the Shredder, the Krang, all of them, and you could play as any turtle. I mean, it's just, it hit the mark on every, it used the, the, the music from the actual cartoon. Trying to get in front of him. Oh yeah, and there's that. Okay. Nope. Man, that uppercut is serious though. Oh, it's not gonna let you change turtles until you continue. And you put 43 credits in. Yeah, I gotta die 43 times to it. <laughs> yeah. I got your back though, man. Yeah, sorry. We're just hanging out in the sewer. Looking at the tree, looking at the chatty chat. Hey look, um Yeah, bring on the bring on the donation screen guys. If you give us a super chat or a subscription, we will show you our donation screen. And it's not in any way sexual. Um what? I like Emilio too. Uh, but we wanted something that was a little, a little Titans-esque, but still had a little bit of Ricky in it, what so... What do you think of this? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, I don't even think I've ever told you about this. Um, you know how downtown, like, downtown Detroit, you're driving down the street in the morning, you'll see, like, the, uh, steam coming up out of the... Yeah? Out of the, the sewer? Like, I used to always think that was the turtle <laughs> I, I don't know what you may be thinking of that, but it's from the it's from the 1990s movie. The the intro of the movie is the sewers with the with Mike Angelo, where he has that famous scene where he's like, "Wise men say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza." <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> say your prayers, toitles. So, 
that's why I'm able to put a little bit of time into Aphid Steve every now and then. But, um, you know, I also have a family to take care of and stuff, so not to get all real life on you guys, but... Oh, yeah, dude. Guys, we, we love talking personal stuff with you. I mean, I'm not going to give you my social security number, but um, we love talking stuff that's outside video games. We love interacting with the fans. As long as you don't try to give me the sunshine. Yeah, as long as you're not a Nigerian prince, we're fine. <laughs> No, see, what if you just have to have a Nigerian prince <laughs> in the screen right now? I think that's pretty rare. <laughs> I, think that's, I think I'll risk it. So, Gerard, the plan going into this was for me to use Donatello. In our world record run, I, I ran with Donatello. And that's why I'm getting my ass kicked so bad right now, part of the like, uh, uh, French. Um, I'm used to having a little bit of distance. And with Mike, you just gotta get right up in there. Knock him around. So, before I can switch to Donnie, I gotta die 12 more times? No, 109 more times. 100, oh, 109. Okay, no, so I don't know how many credits you have. I think it's up there. Yeah. No, 12 is your health, isn't it? No, it's like your credits. That's my credits. So oh, okay. So you maybe if I die 11 more times, I can try to make this happen, but, um. I'm, I'm, yeah, Donatello is completely broken in this game. I don't even know why. Like, he um, he has a the longest reach and also does more damage than the other turtles. I think which is just really weird. All right, they're dead. But we have unlimited credits, so. Let's I'm not even sure how to respond to that simply. Can you give us an example of a movie like that? I mean, that's very specific. <laughs> um, yeah, Sandrick, which is which is weird because we have the world record in this game. So, oh yeah, look, Sandrick. Um, yeah, we have a world record in this game, but it was a really long time ago, and also no Donatello. You can't you can't play this game without Donatello, really. At least not hard. Yeah, the number above it is the kill count, how many kills we have. There is a high score world record for this game that we may go for one day. No, it doesn't do it. Don't put that. I mean, that's Also, keep in mind, guys, that we're talking to the cat a lot and looking away from the screen a lot. And that has a big, uh, a big effect on whether you die. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did somebody, uh... Brian! Oh, that's awesome, Brian. World domination. Alright, Brian. Um, we actually can't pause on the arcade. That's okay. But we're we gonna got give plenty you, of coins. Yeah, we're gonna give you a... Very, very, very much. You're the best, man. Oh, we gotta die eight more times. Thanks, really Brian. Good. Thank you, Brian. Really, man. The words can't describe really how much we do. Yeah, and that's amazing. Brian's been a supporter pretty much every week. Yeah, I always wanted to play David. That's a. I've just been saying that for years. Casey Jones should be a playable character in the oh, oh, That would be amazing. What's up, Tom Owens? How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. No, no, simply BPI, I understand. Uh, as a kid, I watched Porky's a lot, and Porky's too. I probably shouldn't have, because they're not very appropriate for children, but I like them. I like American Pie. Um, yeah, I like those movies. They're good. They're funny. Brian, we will be coming to a lot of states next year, that's for sure. Hopefully Texas. Hopefully Texas. I wish I could get back to Texas, man. I love Texas. Yeah, Retro Blues is in Texas. 
Um, there's a couple, there's a couple shows down there we want to hear. Show there, Santa. Maybe. Hey, Mike Marty, welcome to the stream. It is an epic. It is an epic movie. Alright, maybe try to dock him from his ankle. What's that? Are you trying to dock him from his ankle? Yeah. I'm trying to get the down in the ankle. Well, not completely. Like, you know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can just keep running in this. Yeah. There we go. Do that. That's boring, though, man. I don't want to do that. I'm going to make the rest of the team be great. Go. Yeah, Pax West is in San Antonio. We probably won't be at Pax West, just because of how soon. Guys, Titans has gotten... Everything is happening really, really fast. We, we started Titans um, a little before September. It was in August of last year, and then we had a show at Retro World Expo the very next month. So we've had... Um, uh, we're having a show pretty much every month, but you have to book these cons, especially Pax, you know, six to eight months in advance, so... We may come to Pax South, I don't know, but we probably won't have a show there. Only four more. Thanks, Amber. Appreciate the share. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. How are you doing today? I dropped bomb! Bombs over bags. If it does, in fact, let me switch the dodge. If it doesn't, that's what's up. If it doesn't, my recommendation would be the, the remap to three. Oh, I just want to come in at three and let the other one die. Okay, um, zero life, here we go. Deep. I'm not really sure. Um, uh, most of the embarrassing moments I have in my younger years with women are not appropriate for this stream, so I'm not gonna say that. Um, I don't really, I don't really know, man. Um, uh, I mean, I, I, when I was in high school, I was uh, really into this one girl. Her name was Sarah. And, um, I asked her out on a date, but, uh, she didn't say no. She said she had to go sledding instead, which is obviously not true. Um, but that's kind of embarrassing. And there was a lot of people around the lunch table when I asked her, so it was kind of embarrassing for a little while. All right, Josh, so I'm just thinking, hang on. I don't know what it was embarrassing, uh... <laughs> Not in like a Fortune's or Money Python. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Josh? Josh Roth, what's going what's on, boy? Oh, brother. Boy, Josh in the house. Yeah, Jermaine. Jermaine Hampton, yeah. We, this game is so much fun, man. Even to this day. It still holds up. It's such a beautiful thing. Made game. Graphic, sound, everything. Thank you for seeing everybody out there. My man. Love it. Ah! Mikey, come on, get this shit to my <laughs> Dude, he's not pieces and parties, he doesn't know what to do. Knock him down. Maybe I'll do the back and forth. 
jump trick. The jump kick trick. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna do a speed run spam here. Whoa! This is so there's a there's a, a tiny glitch. That's not really a glitch. You, you, you can jump and kick him in a specific pattern and not get hit. He's at the bottom of the screen here. Let's try it. This is thank you. Mike. This is in the top three arcade games that made the most money of all time. Um, NBA Jam is number one. This is probably number two. I don't remember exactly, but the thing is, is it's not really fair to compare Pac-Man to Turtles because it had four players, so they four four times the amount of quarters. But more people playing the arcade game means more quarters get pumped into it. You know, only one person can play Pac-Man at a time, really. Bro! Hey, what's up, random bitch? Welcome to the stream, buddy. I actually have some more people to have one of my uh, breakfast stations. I haven't had anything to eat except for some peanuts and some lemon heads. That was my breakfast, but I will be eating a lot after the stream. I just need Michelangelo to take this a little bit more serious. <laughs> you can't. That's the problem with him. Yep, General Crag, yep. 
I always wonder what the bad guys thought of like the players. Like, oh man, they have unlimited life, that's not fair. It's OP. Rocksteady and Bebop is the two most uninteresting characters available. Oh yeah, we gotta find, we gotta attack the right one. Yeah, where's Waldo? Shredder it is. The one without the helmet, right? The one with the helmet. Big shout out to Uncle Phil. Yeah. Point for uh, Shredder. Yeah, Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil was gonna do, he did a few boy calls. Love Commodore, welcome buddy. Guys, if you're on Facebook, please go over to Commodore 64 Brannigan's Facebook page and check out all his awesome content. There's a lot of PS2 stuff. He also has a show on the ACC page oh, called Arcade Mondays where he plays arcade games just like this every Monday. Check him out, please. Oh my gosh, come on. We don't die, we multiply. Look how baby is on him. Oh, baby turtle. I'm a baby turtle. Come on. Dead. That's turtles, guys. We did it. We did it, turtles. Way slower than our record, but we did it. Hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if, if I was throwing quarters in it, Gerard, I'd probably say uh, Shredder. I mean, Shredder or Craig, they both were tough, but. Shutter, you got three of them slicing at you at the same time, so you just gotta, like, you can't go up or down to try to dodge an attack, you just gotta match. We were just talking about that, Shadrick. Um, we were developing a podcast for a while, and we did Turtles as one of the games, and we also did NBA Jam, and uh, found out a lot of information about the revenue from Turtles. Turtles made a lot of money. Uh, it's, it's in the top five most highest revenue arcade games for, of all time, for sure. I'm pretty sure it's number two, but I don't know 100%, so I don't want to say the wrong thing. I know NBA Jam is number one. The arcade game oh, club dude, they got paid. Yeah, yeah they, dude, got, they got paid off this game. Yeah, they got paid. They got paid, I know, I know, uh, I know where we map it. 
Oh, we're gonna down top. Yeah, bro. I'm not getting my I'm not getting my butt kicked for another hole. <laughs> okay. Hey Stacy, welcome to YouTube! How's it going? What's up, Stacy? No, Stacy, we're about to play Turtles in Time Arcade. You made it just in time. Yep. We just we just played Turtles 1. Turtles Arcade. The original arcade turtles. Thirsty for some turtles! <laughs> we're gonna let this play out and then uh, I'm gonna remap my man Sink here for Donatello on Turtles in Time. And we're gonna do it. Mm, game over. Alright. Oh, cool. Welcome back, Stacy. How you been? Put a little, little 8 bit Steve stamp on this. I'm so sick with it. Yeah, Gerard. It's a little easier to avoid Shredder than it is Krang. There's also a little more glitches on Shredder. You can get the guys stuck on the left side of the screen uh, when you're below them and they won't be able to circle around you. So I think Shredder's a little bit easier. Krang is just button mash, basically. You can't really do anything to him. Yeah, Shadrick, it was, uh, it was a casino for gamers and a repository for kids who got allowances basically yeah a lot of kids allowances went into those <laughs> really why would I yeah you're right now that I think of it I can't think of no do you remember seeing a crane in that form mm -hmm. action figure no Okay. I don't think so. I didn't know this. I forgot about this. They have a. It had its own song. I guess. Uh huh. I'm gonna unmask you. That's different. Here. All right. Give me your. Give me your coin button here. Go. Okay. Coin. Yeah. Give me your start button. There's my start button. And we're just gonna map these one by one. Ready? Yep. Oh. Hang tight, guys. We're just remapping so I can be Donatello. Left. Right. Right up. Right down. Left up. Left up? Mm -hmm. Left down. Button one. Button two. Sweet, bro. Let's do it. Yeah, look at this. Mm -hmm. I wonder who sung this. That's some, uh, that's some trivia right there. That's awesome. Pizza power. Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, channel my inner Ricky here. Uh oh. Swim Jim! <laughs> yeah! Alright. Alright, here we go. Let, 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 let shell. Oh, let yeah. Shell. Welcome back, Donnie. This is April so, Thanks, thanks, Juan. This is actually an incredible idea for a video game. You have this really awesome Turtles arcade, hey, and you're like, let's make them travel to you, you bloated beanbag. Yeah, you bloated bean bag. Let's get shell. Nope. There we go. Oh. So this game you have dashes. You also have like shoulder rams. It's, there's a lot of cool combat tricks you can do in this game. But it, it, it's the exact same feel and style of the original. So they took all the stuff that was good and then added in more cool moves. Oh, oh this feels so good to have somebody who can actually hit what you're trying to hit. Break this up in size, or how you want to do that? Yeah, just kill everything. Pizza time! Pizza time! Pizza time! Oh, 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 I forgot about that. I forgot you can throw enemies at the screen. At the screen. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, Commodore, you wish. You wish, buddy. I'll tell you what, we'll play it privately and send you the video. Oh. 
Prepare to die. Don't worry, I don't have it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you do, Camo. <laughs> Yeah, you're not having to kill everybody on the stage yes. now. <laughs> yes, that's, that's pretty great. <laughs> fanatic and I love it but the turtles 2 on the on the NES just doesn't as, doesn't hold up to this one cool the graphics just aren't there the gameplay is much more difficult you're talking about the one on the Super Nintendo for turtles in time that one is incredible and it does hold up to this because this is turtles in time Hello. I, I guess I'll start while we're waiting for people to comment on their favorite turtle. Um, I think everybody knows by now Donatello is my favorite. Um, I love it because I could always play Donatello when we played as kids. Because just pick a stick up out of the backyard and that's all I needed, right? <laughs> or, I, or I take the handle off of like the push group. I had like a, had a punching bag in my garage. I used to I got it with uh, my push handle. Got to get that down and tell him practice it, yeah, bro. bro. Not to mention he was a genius, you know. <laughs> How about you, 8-Bit? Um, when I was a kid, I think I was really into Michelangelo because I think I always wanted to be the cool kid that everyone liked, liked and I was never that way. So I, I wanted to be Michelangelo, but I think I'm like Raph. I think Raph is my favorite guy. You mean the, the aggressive knee anger management? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Cool. But also, like, strong and, you know, capable. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. Strong and capable of flipping out? <laughs> hey. Hey, it looks like rat. A little cool rat. A little cool rat. Yeah, I think I'm more like rap. Uh, than any of the other turtles, but I really do feel like I have a little bit of Donatello, a little bit of Leonardo, a little bit of Mikey, and a little bit of Raph. And I think we all see a little bit of Pizza time. Oh, that's what made them so uh, likable, so relatable. I mean, not to sound like the nerd, but you know. <laughs> Donnie yeah. wasn't all abroad. I'm going to mangle you. Yeah, some spots. Is that all right? I had this metal head. You do. I have yeah. really had like the, the see-through or the clear. You could shine a light in and his head would light up or something. I think that was a different thing. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. No, 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 no. It was definitely metal head. 
Yeah, Mike is probably, yeah. Because everyone wants to be Mike because he's got no cares and he's cool and everyone loves Mike, right? That's why everyone wants to be him. Mike is like the football player of high school. You know what I mean? He's the popular one and people like him. He gets all the chicks. That's Mike. I wanted to be Mike, but I really wasn't. I really wasn't. Him. I wanted to be Mike, but I was more like that. Cowabunga! Sewer surfing. Sewer surfing. What's up, awesome destroyer? How's it going, buddy? My toes, my toes, my toes, my toes, my toes. My toes. My toes. No. No. A little swim gym action. No. All right, guys, I didn't eat anything today. I'm really hungry. No. 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 Uh oh. oh that's you want it? You wanted to be crying, combo? All right. Well. My toes, my toes. Maybe that's a trick trivia question. Who's the brainiest character on the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> is it Donatello? Is it Krang? No. Yeah, you can't outbrain a brain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like an actual brain. He's a brain. He's a little my brain. Toes, my toes, <laughs> my toes, my toes, my ah. toes. I tell you what, I'm getting the urge to eat pizza though. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> So little Sunday pizza actually. Do a little stuff crust. Guys, if you're on YouTube or Facebook right now, please tell us your favorite turtle. I wanna know. Let us know if you like Anto. No. They don't. No. Nobody does. Nobody does but me. No. My toes! My toes! Yeah, my favorite. I'm one of those guys that like, uh, uh oh, Stacy. I like ham and pineapple on my pizza, so. A lot of people find that weird. I, I find like it delicious. I like ham and pineapple. Yeah. I like the, the good old fashioned Hawaiian. Yeah. I was a lot like rap when I was younger, Stacy. I was a, I was a, tr a problematic teen. But I've since grown out of that phase. I'm now a responsible adult that contributes to society. My toes, my toes, <laughs> my toes, my toes. Casey had a thing for the bad boys. No. Uh, no. Don't all girls have a thing for the bad boys, though? I think that, I think that's kind of. I mean, that's why Donatello was. The, you know, I don't know. Pizza Rap time. is the guy that everyone kind of doesn't like him, but they need to have him they around. Need rap, yeah. yeah, you need to have him. Like they don't want to get into a fight without rap, right? <laughs> Everybody wants to point their fingers and say, that's the bad guy. <laughs> uh, my favorite scene was uh, in the Ninja Turtles movie is when Rap gets mad and he leaves and he's out on the roof and all those all those ninjas come at him. And instead of like, instead of like going, get to, help. going to get the turtles, he just like, fights them all. He's like, all right, I got yeah. this. He, he whips like the first set of them and he's like, all right. And then like 20 more come and he's like, uh-oh. <laughs> that was my favorite part. See, Donatello would have been like, let me let me manufacture this radio real quick and call in. My patience is wearing let me, let me invent the cell phone. Yeah, but you will never return. No, I mean, Please there's things you like about all of them. They're all just different. What's up, Matt Cooper? Michelangelo is your favorite? Man, I'm just a big fan of going on, bro. What I can tell you is when I was younger, um, I did a lot of training with nunchucks. I really loved nunchucks, so maybe that's why I liked Mike. But I, I, uh, I've, I've been professionally trained with nunchucks. When you first started working with nunchucks, did you have like the... Uh, Use the like real nunchucks? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, when I first started training with nunchucks, I didn't train with nunchucks, I just got some nunchucks. Like, it, my friend, uh, my friend's, uh, why did that get dark? Oh, right, it came My friend's, why did that get dark? My friend's cousin worked at a metal fabricating shop, and he made some nunchucks out of a push -break. 
Uh, so I used those for a long time before I like actually got. Yeah. Yeah. But when you do when you do professional training, they give you patches on them. Right. Because you hit yourself in the face a lot. Yeah. So my dad had a set of wooden ones, and you know they were really nice. They were like they had the, the bearings and all that in them. So um, I thought I picked them up one day thinking you know I was just gonna start being friendly. Start. <laughs> Start, start wielding nunchucks and uh, yeah, first time I caught myself square in the face, I was done. So that's what, you know what, that's what I was like, you know what, I like this push room handle a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only caught myself good one time, I hit myself right under my eye when I, when I very first started training with the real nunchucks, and I had like a black eye for a while, but other than that, um, I think be okay with them. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that fight too. Casey Jones is basically if you mix rap and Michelangelo together. That's basically what, what Casey Jones is. <laughs> yeah, Jermaine. That movie Pizza is time. hilarious, man. I love that movie. Pizza time. Man, I just had a shower. Man, I just had a shower. Come on, guy. Yeah, I don't remember seeing this guy in the car. None of the turtles in that Well, I'm not a big fan of stuff crust, but I know Sink is. I love some stuff crust. Yeah. It doesn't love my mid section, but yeah. I love it. Man, I just had a shell. Man, I just had a shower. Oh my god. Gotta be almost done. Man. Yeah, a big blob of goo. Well, um, a lot of the stuff in the Turtles in Time or, was not in the cartoon. This game came out after that cartoon. So, although the Turtles, Turtles 3, the movie, Skull and basically Turtles. Turtles in Time, sucked and it had nothing to do with this game. One. My favorite, uh, my favorite pizza topping is, uh, and the My pie. toes, my toes, my toes. They did, Throw man. a little onion Sun in there. Cream. You are correct, man, they did. But the games are so similar. I felt like playing the Super Nintendo version would be just kind of redundant because they're very similar. So we're going to play the Genesis version, which is radically different right after this. And I figured these messages will be right back. Pretzel Pizza is amazing. Pretzel Pizza is probably the greatest invention ever. I love that. I don't, I don't like it. Man. It's well, salty. Uh, My oh, that's not a thing. Shell salty, shock. That's not a thing for me. Yeah, eight bits salt. Uh, that is, uh, 100. Yeah, I'm level 100 in salt. Yeah, something about a salty pizza just takes away from it. Oh, I feel sick. Yeah, it was Jermaine, but you gotta keep in mind that Battletoads didn't have the success. You know, they had some games, but they didn't uh, they didn't have a cartoon or a comic series that, that pizza I know of. Power! Duh. My toes! My toes! Something I don't like, it's a very small thing. You can't do the double attack on either side. Yeah, uh, as well in this one. Yeah. Um, I like that Duh. part of the first My one, toes. so you can do it, but it's like, it's, I don't know, it just it doesn't work quite as well. Duh. My toes! 
Jermaine, I agree with you, man. It, it was a ripoff. They also had, uh, what was that, Sewer Sharks and Very a couple other ones. Samurai Pizza Cats. Me. Biker Mice from Mars. Yeah, there was a lot of Turtles ripoffs. Slash was probably one of my non-Turtle characters. He was my favorite bad guy character. He just looks so cool. I always loved Slash. He was my favorite action figure. Then it's true. You show me the original show. Um, Shredder tries to make a turtle rip off and it ends up being slash. And he's like this. He's like. He just looks weird. Like he's mutated weird. He's not symmetrical. And he's like kind of crazy. He's like, he's like the carnage of the turtles clone. That's odd. I don't remember that at all. If I showed you a picture of me, I would talk about I don't think I would. No? Ooh. Yeah, it's real for the show. But I got poor memory anyway, so probably didn't see the whole thing. Yeah, Street Shark, that's what it was. Thought it was Super Shark. Super Shark would have been a little uh, a little too much of a ripoff, I think. Yeah, it does sound a bit like Sunset Rider. Yep. Alright, Juan, that's a little hurtful, but I can't disagree. Hey, what's up, Headlock? <laughs> We were Shell just talking shot. about your visit coming up here. You he ain't he he gonna be in G Town hanging out with the Titans. We're gonna show you a good time. Well, I think I got an idea. I feel seated. Probably we need to talk about something after this game. Okay. Oh, we have to go. We have to go. Yeah. I got an idea. Yeah. Anyway, we were talking about pizza and our favorite, uh, our 
favorite topping, then we're also talking about our favorite turtles. I'd be interested in finding out both of those. Alright, Chris, get some sleep, buddy. Thanks for hanging out with us on Titans of Co-op and one coin only. Love having you. Oh, goody. Pizza time. All pizza is gross. Yeah. All pizza is gross? Oh, okay, JS. Yeah, so I was just saying. Oh, you're just saying? I thought you were saying JK. Casey, that is, that is last one. How? Oh, you're the first person I've ever heard of. Oh. Shell shock. What did you do to you? He doesn't do his bounce up and down the screen so a nice but... <laughs> They have Ninja Turtles conventions? We're going. <laughs> Neon Night Riders. Headlock. Favorite favorite pizza. Go. Yeah, favorite pizza. Somebody asked you that on stream the other day, didn't they? Headlock. About your favorite pizza. If I can just spam the button here, that's what I'm gonna do. a good name for a podcast. Quarter munchers. Quarter munchers. Super Supreme. So Headlock, I like the Super Supreme too, but I'm allergic to onions. So I have to get it with no onions. It's basically everything. For what? Uh, you can get it at Harvey Howie's. You can get it at Pizza Hut. What's up, Jason G? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for bringing the popcorn out. Let the man get shell! Okay, hold on, clear it out. Let get shell! This other stuff comes off. Awesome. Yeah, they cut. You know, every once in a while, I just want to do a meat aqua. Can you imagine if Arby's made pizza? They got all the meat, bro. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> that, that <can't> <laughs> oh, oh, Arby, man, man. we have the meat. Oh man, that's shell shot. That sounds like my kind of pizza. Dude, tell me you wouldn't have eaten it. Oh, I have crap for sure. Arby was shell. like, hey, we're gonna start doing this pizza thing. Roast beef on pizza? That's that's pizza on time. I've heard of. Okay. I try. I have I eat some of that cheddar sauce they got, the liquid kind on the pizza. Oh, oh like a, a a beef and cheddar, but yeah, on but a on pizza? a pizza. Now we're talking. That, that, that was was so awesome, bro. Yeah, no joke. I'm trying to clap that. Back. 
You know, Juan, um, I am in the minority with you. I do not like Chicago-style pizza. And uh, a lot of people do. And I, I just, it's not for me. I've never had New York or L.A. pizza, so I can't speak on that. But Juan, well, I'm halfway there with you, man. I agree. I agree with the New York-style pizza, but I just don't find, I find Cali-style to just not be, uh, it's not worth pizza. Pizza's healthy, it's not worth it. Exactly. I want to know I'm making a mistake. Yeah, yeah. I don't need the crust to be, you know, a quarter of an inch thick. On the other hand, I do love me in Chicago, so sorry. No, that's okay. It's just not like the greatest ever, you know? Like, people Stop. make it out yeah, like, it's kind of it, bro. No it's kind of it. Oh, come on, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Billy Steak is amazing. Something about uh, steak and green peppers and onions with uh, melted cheese. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Yeah. If I did, I got you, man. Why can you jump with that? You can follow? Yeah. Ooh, I feel like Yeah, like back to 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 back yeah, so we see. Um, I didn't like pizza a lot when I was a kid um, because I have a, I have a, I had a really bad experience with some uncooked cheese. Um, and so, yeah, it's. Did we talk about it? Yeah, I told you about it before. I mean, I don't know. Basically, well, I'll just do it now. I was at a birthday party when I was when I was younger, probably five or six, and um, uh, one of my friends ordered the Little Caesars pizza. is disgusting. It is disgusting, and it's the cheapest, lowest quality pizza you can buy on the earth. And, um, but, you know, it was cheap back then, so the kids ate it a lot. Um, my buddy ordered triple cheese pizza from Little Caesars. Sounds delicious. Well, what happened was, is the bottom layer of cheese didn't get cooked correctly, and so it was just... It was disgusting. So I ate a bunch of pieces of pizza because I was really hungry. I threw up at his house. And then ever since then, melted cheese just kind of awkward with me a little bit. And so I didn't eat a lot of pizza for a long time. And even to this day, if the pizza is really cheesy or has pizza crust, I can't eat it. I wish this game had a dash button, like uh, the Super Nintendo version does. Yeah, I like all of those things. So, <laughs> I guess I just can't relate. Pizza power! But no, I, you know what, I get it. There's things that... I'm trying to think, what is something that's generally like... Okay. Oh, how'd you know? <laughs> You've been co-oping too much. Yeah. Oh, shell shot. Oh, shell shot. Oh, giant oh I screens. know one. Oh, uh, never do. But I think I think you say it's, it's not hereditary, but it's uh. What is it? You know how some people can eat cilantro? And for other people it tastes like soap and it's like something in Anyone got a pill? Yeah, like that's a real thing. Look it up. Never heard of it. Like some people really yeah, like the taste of cilantro. Shell. And for Anyone me it tastes just like dish soap. But it has something to do with how your body it's unique. But you're either or. Huh. I know the taste of dish soap to me, but I just don't like the taste of cilantro. Yeah, like burnt, almost like burns my mouth. It's like a soapy airhead, you know what I'm saying? Or a uh, sour. That sounds like an allergy. Anyone's got a not an allergy. It's a, 
it doesn't like it doesn't swell up or anything like that. Well you don't have to swell up with the calories. Anyone got a pin? Like when I eat onions I don't swell up. Uh, well if I eat a lot of them I will. But if it's just like you know, a little bit of it, I'll just get really sick. Is that crazy? Okay. Yes. How's one out like yeah. why are we fighting the Martian? Training in his bubble dumps, uh Oh, Juan, here in Detroit, we're, we're surrounded by tons of ghetto pizza oh, like that. I'm getting oh, shot. They're everywhere. You can't go, you can't go a block up. without seeing a pizza place in Detroit. So many of them. Anyone got a pin? I know I said this before, but I like playing these arcade games now when I have unlimited credit. It's like being the rich kid. Like this, I imagine this is what rich kids felt like uh, when they were playing turtles when they were young. You know, I never knew. I'd get, I'd get 10 minutes into the game if I was working and I'm done. There we go. Thank you. That holds our way home. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Technodrome, the final shell shock. Oh, the final shell shock. Do you fight the Technodrome? No, we we'll fight right the Technodrome. Hurry. Oh yeah. We get that lightsaber at Shredder. That's not the right franchise. That's a VA Shredder, though. Okay. Donnie, put that work in, man. Put that work in, Donnie. Everyone scores the red lock. Go jump! Come on, jump, jump, jump! Overcome the arc villain Shredder. Hey Juan, all I know is for five bucks, I'll mess up a little, little piece of pizza, bro. Bro, even putting it by my face makes me want to throw up. I can't do it. I can't. I can't eat it. I can't do it, dude. I don't. I don't know. It makes me sick. Sorry. That turtle's a time. Yeah. Oh, so much better having done it. Yeah. We're going to be moving on to the Sega Genesis version. Hyper Skill and Heist right after these credits. Thanks, Jermaine. All right, Headlock. Have a fun walk, my friend. Yeah, Strategic, when you have unlimited credits, really the game's him. not that long. <laughs> Alright. Switching over to uh, Gen. Yeah. yeah. But, 
Let me show you something, guys. But wait, so, there's more. My wife got me a present. Miss 8-Bit. Yeah. Mrs. 8-Bit got me a present for my birthday. My birthday is this month. Check this thing out, guys. So, Sheik showed you his stick. He's got a Street Fighter 4 Mad Cats arcade stick that we got for $10 out of disc replay. And I, I bought like a generic black one that I used last week. My wife bought me this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautifulness. It's an it's an 8-bit dough. That's a sexy joystick. I know. It looks exactly like an NES controller. It's a fight stick. It's amazing. It has 12 buttons. Uh, it's it's incredible. It, it's so cool. And it, and it fits me because, you know, I'm 8-bit Steve, so I got an 8-bit fight stick now. It looks exactly like an NES controller, so... Uh, thanks a lot <laughs> for that birthday present, and uh, that's what I played these arcade games on, and all the world records we're going to set for forward on arcade games are going to be on that stick, so you're going you're gonna to see it. It's a bold strategy, Juan. <laughs> I like that. Whenever you, see a hot, whenever you see a hot girl when you walk down the street, just say, Kawabunga. <laughs> I'm sure that'll get them. And if not, they're not worth it anyway, so, you know. You had oh the fight stick. You had the Street Fighter Five or Four one. Yeah, it's from the Xbox 360 era, but it's a really good fight stick. It's got really good reviews, and it obviously Sink loves it. Oh yeah, I I, I love this fight stick. It's it's it feels just as good as being at an arcade. It's not better, you know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, ten bucks. What a steal. Yeah. I'm gonna brag about that till forever too. You should. It's amazing. Some of those. Uh... Oh, you want some peanuts? Yeah. Thanks, sir. You're welcome, man. All right. Uh, get a little Genesis action going here. Okay. Oh. Which one we in? I think it's. I switched it because the volume input was messed up on that thing. Is broke too. Okay. Remember how we had the volume issue with the cord? Yeah. One of those inputs is messed up. Yeah, Didn't our other one just kind of start flaking out on us? Those are really old. I I got that probably 15 years ago. All right. Well, so. I'm going to load me up some turtles. Yep. Oh, that's not. It's a little hyperstone hype, right? Yeah. Hyperstone it up. Got my little, my little six button. Is a hyperstone hype or teenage? It's go back. It's uh, go back to yeah. It's uh, that's the Manhattan. No, that's the European version. Go down that one. It's it's that one, I think. Find out in a second. Yeah, exactly, one. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna drive him right now a little bit. Give me a close. Well, we got to do the job. Splitter. Here. Oh, you got you. Oh. Yeah. Nah, I think I'm good. I don't know where it's hot. But Poogie, Poogie and these. Alright. Alright, we're doing Hyperstone Heist on the same Genesis. So, so far, I mean, there's not a whole lot needs to be said. Turtles 1 Arcade is an incredible game. Uh, probably one of the greatest games ever made for beat em ups and arcades. Turtles in Time added to it. Um, I don't think it's as classic as the first one, but it's still a, a highly. I like the game. gameplay better on Turtles in Time. Yeah. So. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Konami! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You want an option? Let it show! What do we got?
Yeah, two five. You want you want to do normal or easy? Yeah, let's do five. That's fine. I'm doing easy. No, just do normal. You want to do normal? Just do normal. Alright. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, buddy. Alright, Juan, thanks for the share, buddy. Appreciate you coming to the Titans of Co-op and one coin only. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Nick, we usually, uh, for streams, you just play on easy. The, uh, the uh, objective of the streams is just to kind of show off the games and give our general opinion, so we're not trying to be hardcore with the casual streams on Sundays, but... I see you're going with Rap. Yeah, Rap's really good at this one. He might even be better than Don. No. No, bro. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I love the speed of the characters in this game. I love fast paced people. Most of them are slow as well. Fighting mechanics on this better than the other two already. I do so many. I can just control my character a lot better. You talking about the joystick wand? Because it's, it's amazing. No, um, you can buy it, it's, it's, it's a company called 8-Bit Doe, the number 8-B-I-T-E-O, they sell tons of them, like, really cool, uh, controllers, um, and they have that fight stick, it's, it's awesome, it works on Switch, PC, it works on Mac, it works on, uh, PS4, I believe, it works on a lot of consoles. No, um, BJ 
generally play only the co-op games in the series, so since Tournament Fighter isn't a co-op game, we probably won't play it. However, um, who knows? This, we tend to do Titans for a long, long, long time, and, you know, maybe that'll... Maybe we'll do head-to-head stuff eventually, I don't know. There's a lot more Turtles games to explore, though, so we're gonna do... We're definitely gonna be doing a Turtles episode number two. There's a lot more games. Mysterious ghost ship. Hyperstone Heist in the second Genesis faction. Don't go through time at all, I don't think. Um, and obviously, it shows what time you do. The, just the setting and the plot of the game are totally different, but the mechanics are the same. Um, well, even like the other half, the attacks are really similar. Ah, that's Power! 
Pokemon Benjamin. Uh, we don't generally go for records on our casual show on Sundays. We have done it before. Where did that come Got from? Rocked. Yeah. Woo. Hey, what's up, Benjamin Horse? Welcome to the stream. Jaden Middleton, what's going on, my man? No, uh, yeah, we we generally do record stuff during the week. That's why we just released our new segment, World Record Wednesdays. Every single Wednesday, we're gonna be uploading a world record to One Coin Only's YouTube and our own Facebook page. Our Facebook page is linked in the comments on Facebook. And also, uh, our YouTube channel is linked in the comments on Facebook. Um, yeah. Check us out on Facebook if you are watching on YouTube. You'll see a world record run from us every Wednesday. The title is really cool. Hashtag WRW World Record Wednesday. Chiseled body. Yeah. Alright, Ben. See you when you get back, my friend. Yeah. What was the game? Yeah. I had the actual yeah. yeah. That's Turtles 2, or Turtles Arcade. I don't know that. It's Turtles 2. Yeah. It's just the, the yeah. NES port of the original arcade game. I mean, coming up in Grand Rapids here in a couple weeks. D. Wayne is going to be featured at that show as well. It's be really cool. Really fun time. Yeah, probably, yeah. Assuming that we have internet access there. Not always the case. I think it's really great. And, you know, 
I'm not the biggest Sega fan, but this is a really good version of Curly. Super Mario Turtles went back. Which is also really good, but I feel like this one is better. This version is better than Turtles in Time. Like, Turtles in Time is basically a port of the arcade, but like has a couple of things. This is like a totally different game. How you doing, man? Yeah, Raphael and the Manhattan Project is completely busted. Donatello is really good, too. Raph and Donatello are always the best. Oh, 
Final shell shock. Over here, go. 
folks, you know, in general, technology looking for. Yeah. Well, I've got toys, but I remember a couple Oh, yeah. I'll take 
him just the way he is. That's Crank. I'm down shutter now. See? I knew he had a crank. <laughs> I knew you. I can't do the. I can't do the technique. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they only give you one on two players? Every other game was like, oh yeah, yeah they two want players. You they want that to happen. It's player one, man. <laughs> Hyperstone Heist is number one. Uh, original Turtles is number two, and then 
uh, Kernels in Time Arcade Memory 3. Only reason I'm rating the original over the first one is I like the sounds and uh, the, the original arcade over Kernels in Time. I like the comp. They're, they're like really close to me because there's things I I don't like about the original that Turtles in Time improved, but also Turtles in Time took away some of the things that I liked in the original. So I, I'm gonna put those in the tie. I'm gonna put those in the tie. I'm gonna go Thunderstorm Heights. I like Turtles in Time better. Um, and third, I'm gonna say I, I feel like um, it all progressed to something better. For me, I, I, I didn't miss anything. I didn't like the kills in time, I don't like that you can't do the double attack. I mean that was a really cool portion of one. Yeah. That's, that was kind of annoying. And some of the sounds just aren't as good uh, as they are in the first one. It also means that I was stuck with uh, Mike in this match the whole time we ran into him. <laughs> That's probably true. Uh no. So um the, old, the games that are similar, Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo and Turtles in Time on the arcade are pretty similar. Uh, the Super Nintendo added a few things and removed a few things, but it's pretty similar. Um, Hyperstone Heist is a totally different game. It doesn't involve time travel at all, and it has a completely different plot, and it has a lot more attack elements than any of those other games, and I really like it. They did a, It's like the culmination of all the great things of the Turtles beat-em-up brand in one game. It's got, a cool, it's got great music. Great sounds. Wow, that's three games. We played Turtles Arcade regular, the first one. We played Turtles in Time Arcade, and we played Hyperstone Heights. So that's three games. Beaten already for you today. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Headlock. Are they all Konami? Three and oh, Juan. Yeah, they're all made by Konami. Yeah, Konami has the exclusive Turtle play. With the exception of the original NES game, which was made by Ultra, which no. I, I think Ultra actually was a division of Konami. I don't know. Huh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, it was super fun. So, uh, long story short, Turtles is awesome. Every, uh, every beat em up iter iteration of it is amazing. I mean, we knew that. No, for sure. We didn't burst it. We didn't discover that. We knew. We knew. It would be an awesome stream. We had a lot of fun to do. Um, yeah, so uh, just a couple announcements before we end for the day. So I can go to um, here's what we got. So we have a show coming up, Grand Rapids Comic Con. We will be in the Nexus Gaming Alliance Alliance booth gaming area. We're gonna be doing a world yeah. record there. We're gonna be doing meta. Oh, excuse me. Get it out. Uh, we're gonna be doing Metamorphic Force. It's an arcade beat 'em up. Really cool. It's also made by Konami. And it's in the same style of this beat em up, but you, uh, you can transform into a werewolf or a werebear or a werepanther. It's a really cool game. So that's that's coming up in Grand Rapids November 9th, 10th, and 11th. Ewing is going to be present at that show. He's going to be doing some commentary on some fighting game tournaments and also commentary on our run. Uh, our friend uh, Miroku is going to be there. He's going to be doing some commentary for us. Uh, we've got another friend of ours coming. Um, he's going to be hanging out with us. We're going to be doing a lot of coverage and footage from that con. Coming up in a couple weeks. Um, before that con, though, Ricky's got a brand new party coming out. It's the 2,000 Ooh. follower Ooh. YouTube party. So he's going to be doing beat em up games galore on this party. He's going to be giving away. Beat em ups or Capcom beat em ups? I am beat em it's, it's awesome games. Awesome How about beat them up. Yeah. He's going to be doing awesome crap on that stream. So he's going to be giving away a ton of stuff, including an NES mini, uh, $50 cash prize, and you heard it here first. The Titans are going to be donating some prizes to that party uh, as our contribution for the 2,000 followers because we feel like we've we've helped get the 2,000 followers there. We want to give back to those that follow to watch us, and we're going to give away some prizes. So watch that stream, guys. Watch that 2,000 subscriber. Uh, it's on October 23rd. Uh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, so check that out. Um, we also have World Record Wednesday. I want to pump that again on Titans of Co-op's Facebook page and also on One Coinly's YouTube. Every Wednesday, we're uploading World Record. This week we did Tron. Next week another World Record, and then another one, and then another one, another one. all the way out. Let me another tell you guys, we've got at least six months of records, at least 
hopefully we can do it for three years <laughs> uh we want and, and that's not to say we might upload two in a week who knows but right now every week we're going to release a world record for you guys that's something that we talked about a long time ago of doing and we feel like we're very capable of doing that now which is kind of weird um yeah, brand new up. yeah it's crazy that we have that many world records so uh check that out on Titan the clock's facebook page and also on the one corner of youtube we're going to be posting on the clock um other than that i think that's all the announcements that we have uh as far as shows that are coming up uh, I'll be putting up a poll for the next week. So check that out on our Facebook page if you want to vote on what we play next week. Hey, what's up, Seth? How's it going? Uh, see if you got anything? What we got? Did I do anything? No, I think, I think you grabbed everything. You got it. I got it? I got um, it. Um, yeah. I know we're going to be putting a poll up. Uh, like, um, please, please, please vote for the one that I'm looking forward to. <laughs> um... If you know if you know anything about sync, when you see it, you vote on it. So. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, share, follow, uh, subscribe for five dollars, and super chat us. That helps a lot. The more of that kind of stuff we get, Ricky knows that you guys like us and you guys oh. want us to have more shows, right? Eventually, maybe we can stream every day. We would love to do that. Hey, all it boils down to is, I mean. Thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, can't wait to do this again next week. Yeah, see you guys next week.